locked up and facing deportation, a harsh reality for more than 400 immigrants picked up daily since President Trump took office. And dozens of the arrests happened in our region. WJZ is live in Bel Air. Kimberly Eaton with the population seeing the sharpest spike in arrests. Kimberly? And Mary, an increase in an arrest and an increase in fear for some of Maryland's immigrant population. Agents picking up more people than before with no criminal history. A campaign promise off the political stage now on American streets. Picture after picture of immigration raids reflected in the numbers from President Trump's first 100 days in office, showing a spike in immigrant arrests. 41,000 so far across the country and right here in Maryland. The most dramatic increase, nearly 11,000 of those people have no criminal history. Like Jesus Pereza, locked up in Baltimore and waiting to face a judge. She's afraid that they could do the same with her. With the help of a translator and her face hidden, his wife spoke with WJZ, telling us in March, Pereza dropped their son off at school and came home to waiting officers. Now his growing family has two dates looming both next month. His court date, her due date. She wants him to be able to stay because she's going to give birth and she wants him to be with her. And she calls her husband's arrest an injustice. Here in Hartford County, Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor says his officers are partnering with ICE to simply enforce the law. We screen everyone, whether they're black, white, Asian, whether they're male, female, old, or young. A process for anyone arrested and taken to Hartford County's detention center, flagging 36 undocumented immigrants in the last six months, 24 of them with criminal rap sheets. The sheriff says. That's his focus, preventing violent crime. As the sheriff of Harford County, I'm concerned about public safety. For those people who are here trying to make a better life for themselves, for their families, following the rules otherwise, have nothing to fear from the Harford County Sheriff's Office.